Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This is Shy Dreams. Um, this evening, I received a question, maybe like two hours ago, um, about the video that I made back on, I want to say April, I don't know, 5th, 20th, or it was one of those dates, and um, I don't recall offhand. Um, it was about converting the X ISOs to a format that the Xbox emulators could read. The CXBX Reloaded needs basically the files in the folder, and the XMU needs an ISO. Um, we did go over how to use X ISO or X DVD Mullet, um, which is my favorite um, when it comes to graphics. But then, I mean, I do run into situations where uh, X Mullet doesn't really work, and I have to revert back to X ISO. Uh, but I do get a video coming thanks to another subscriber, Bill Miller. Shout out to him. He definitely keeps us on our toes about things that we should try in the emulation community. Uh, especially, I mean, he, he does send me a lot of tips and tricks. And then I try to share with you guys so we can just keep it going. So today, which this is the Reddit page. Um, if you can notice, we only got seven members. If you get a chance and you have a Reddit page, stop on by. Um, I definitely do come here. Um, it does have a live chat, so if you have a question or anything like that, you can come here and post your question. Nine times out of ten when I'm at work, I definitely have this open um, to answer any questions that I could possibly answer while I'm at work until I can get home. So um, I guess we'll get right to it. I'll pop the question up somewhere here. Definitely leave a link at the bottom about the Reddit page. Um, if, but if you have something that you want to contribute to the community as well too, just drop it off here. Ideally, just trying to make one big community so if we have questions that, you know, if I can answer it or somebody else has an answer, this is definitely the place to come. Or you could post it up under the video. Alright, let's get on to it. So I guess we'll consider this part one. We just pick some random game. Um, the link to the Internet Archive will be in the description. Um, like I said, I don't condone piracy. But if you do own the game, which I do own this one, um, but I did want to walk, kind of walk through the steps as well too. But I do own the physical copy, so um, I guess for the sake of the video, I'll go ahead and download it. So they give you two download options, which is the torrent, if that's one of those set it and forget it moments, or you could download it directly depending on you know your speed of your internet it says it's 5.6 gigs so um, we'll, just, we'll just do a click here then we want to start downloads I guess at this point of the video I was gonna go ahead and speed it up Okay, the file did download, and as you can see right here, it's 5.85, and we're going to go ahead and extract it. Um, take it to a folder that I normally use, and we can just go straight over to that drive, go on over to downloads. So you can see I've already created some games already. New video coming, dark watch so I can actually delete that on up out of here I don't need that anymore okay so now it's the meat and potatoes I know it might sound crazy but here we go so what you want to do is 
as you can see the file is 7.6 gigs XMU is not gonna work because it's padded um, so basically in this scenario seeing that we're trying to get through this quickly uh, what I'll do is we'll use XISO to make the XBE directory that we need so you just drop and drag or drag and drop however you want to do it as you can see it made a folder here's the Bruce Lee's folder so we'll get on to it minimize this minimize this I got a lot of stuff on my screen today so so it's the CXBX he said he couldn't play the XBE So you want to open the XBE, go back to downloads, go to the Bruce Lee, and then there's the default XBE. So you can see it did pop up in the window, uh, as far as the icon that's saying it is Xbox game, and you hit the start button. Is it going to work? Really don't know offhand, didn't check the compatibility list, but... It looks like we do got a little action. Let's see. It definitely looks like it works. I ain't gonna talk about how cheesy this looks, but this is probably a fun game. But I don't know. Did y'all just see how he fell on the ground? Wow. And this is CXBX. Let's teach him a lesson. Teach me a lesson. They move kind of stiff. Maybe they need to do a remaster or something. <laughs> does work so I don't know let's get on to the next one I guess let me stop this okay so um, like I said that I hope that that helps um, to that point if you do download an ISO that you do extract it if you're gonna use the CXBX now as far as the XMU uh, we're gonna go to The Xbox DVD Muller. So what we're gonna do that same folder that we use to um, boot the other emulator, we can actually use that. So we're gonna do open up Xbox Muller Beta 10, and all the links to everything will be down in the description, so you can have access to it. So um, what we want to do is build or rebuild or ISO. And click next you want to go to local folder and we're gonna browse to where we extracted the folder which in this case it was the G Drive so let's go to my PC go over to G and then we want to go to downloads and then here it is right here Bruce Lee's quest of the dragon so you hit OK <laughs> click this box here so any files that it finds as duplicate or they're the same then it'll link them so it'll save a little space for you click the next button then you want to make a standard ISO 
Xbox One or Extreme 5 Plus, but anybody that was from back in the day knows Extreme was the BIOS for the DVD ROM that Commodore Forever had released. But then I'm just showing my age, so we'll keep it moving right along. And then it says that the XB is valid. So then you want to go next to the step here where it says optimize for disk space. You want small as possible. I mean, I understand like if you have a big drive, but why waste the space if you don't have to? And then, you know, double, double optimization. So you click next. Then you tell it to make the ISO. Then you click it, tell it to save. And it's complete. You can hit cancel. Then you can move on to the next emulator. Okay, so, and there we go. After we created the ISO, then you boot it up into the XMU. Do a little good game play with this one. Let's see. I probably should have tested the thing. Full screen. You know I don't speak Chinese. Why did I have the formula? Patience, my sweet. go to the reddit page like I said I'm typically on there from anywhere from 6 a.m. to about I don't know 3 30 or so and that's central standard time so like I said I hope this helps please like comment and subscribe all right take it easy <laughs> Peace.